Have you ever sat on a plane, gazed out at the wing, and wondered how those engines survive the blazing heat and insane pressure at 35,000 feet? Those turbines spin thousands of times per minute, compressing air, igniting fuel, and hurling exhaust backward all while exposed to conditions that would melt most metals. So, how do they do it? The answer is a remarkable material called Inconel. Without it, modern jet engines wouldn't work. Today, we're diving into why Inconel is the unsung hero of aerospace engineering, and why your next flight wouldn't take off without it. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. Inconel is not just one material, it's a family of super alloys. These are metal alloys designed to perform in extreme environments, and Inconel's specialty is heat resistance. Made primarily of nickel, chromium, and iron, Inconel remains stable even when it's red hot. When most metals are exposed to high temperatures, they soften, deform, or corrode. However, Inconel retains its shape and strength, even when temperatures reach over 1,000 degrees Celsius or 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of a lava flow. But it's not just about heat. Inconel also resists corrosion, oxidation, and fatigue, making it perfect for harsh environments. It's like the superhero of metals, wearing armor that can withstand the worst conditions imaginable. Now let's talk about jet engines themselves. These machines are marvels of engineering, but they're brutal on materials. The temperatures inside the combustion chamber can reach up to 1,700 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt aluminum and severely weaken steel. On top of that, you have extreme pressure from compressed air, violent temperature shifts, and high velocity spinning components that generate a lot of mechanical stress. It's like asking a metal to do gymnastics on the surface of the sun. So naturally, we need materials that won't quit under pressure or heat. That's where Inconel comes in. It's one of the few materials that can survive and thrive in such a punishing environment. Inside a jet engine, Inconel is used where things get hottest and most intense. You'll find it in the turbine blades, combustor liners, seals, and exhaust components. These are areas that deal with continuous exposure to high heat and pressure. Take turbine blades, for example. These are among the most critical parts of a jet engine. They spin at astonishing speeds while being blasted by hot gases straight out of the combustion chamber. To withstand all of this, engineers turn to Inconel. What's more impressive is that these blades are often hollow with air channels running through them to cool them from the inside. Even with all that design ingenuity, they still rely on Inconel's super alloy strength to hold it all together. You might be thinking, can't we just use steel or titanium? After all, those are strong materials too, right? The problem is that while steel is strong and titanium is lightweight, neither can handle the extreme heat like Inconel can. Steel begins to weaken at temperatures above 500 degrees Celsius. Titanium fares a bit better, but still starts to lose its integrity at around 600 to 800 degrees. In contrast, Inconel holds strong beyond 1,000 degrees. That's a huge difference in the world of aviation. Another issue is oxidation. When metals heat up, they can react with oxygen in the air, forming a brittle outer layer. This weakens the structure, but Inconel forms a protective oxide layer that prevents further damage. It's like a self-healing shield that kicks in just when it's needed most. So what makes Inconel so powerful? The secret lies in its atomic structure. Because of the way nickel and chromium atoms interact, Inconel forms a stable crystal structure even at extreme temperatures. This gives it what's called high creep resistance, meaning it doesn't stretch or deform under stress and heat over time. On top of that, 
engineers can tweak Inconel's properties by adjusting its composition. Some variants are made tougher for high-stress applications, and others are designed for better weldability. There's even powder-based Inconel used in 3D printing complex aerospace components with extreme precision. In other words, Inconel isn't just strong, it's engineerable, adaptable, and tailor-made for jet engine needs. If Inconel is so amazing, why don't we use it everywhere? The answer, unsurprisingly, comes down to cost. Inconel is expensive, both the raw material and the manufacturing process. It's tough to machine and even tougher to weld. Because of this, engineers only use Inconel where it's necessary. In parts of the engine that don't face intense heat, more affordable materials like titanium or aluminum alloys are used instead. This strategy keeps costs down while ensuring reliability where it matters most. It's a bit like wearing a fireproof suit only when walking through fire. You don't need it at your desk, but you need it in a furnace. Using Inconel isn't just about survival, it's about performance. Jet engines today are far more efficient than they were just a few decades ago, largely because they can run at higher temperatures. The hotter an engine runs, the more thrust it can generate from the same amount of fuel. And it's Inconel that enables that heat increase. By using materials that can handle more stress, engineers can push the limits of engine design, leading to faster, more fuel-efficient aircraft that also emit fewer pollutants. Safety is another major factor. Jet engines undergo extreme testing and have to last for thousands of hours of operation. Materials like Inconel help ensure that they don't fail under pressure, literally. Without it, the risk of engine wear and catastrophic failure would be much higher. Believe it or not, Inconel's talents go beyond aerospace. You'll find it in nuclear reactors, chemical plants, submarine engines, and even high-end racing cars. Anywhere there's heat, pressure, or corrosion, Inconel is likely involved. Its versatility makes it valuable in industries where safety and performance are non-negotiable. But no other place depends on it quite like the jet engine. Looking forward, Inconel continues to play a major role in aviation. As we move toward more sustainable and powerful engines, the demand for materials that can handle even hotter conditions will only grow. New Inconel variants, additive manufacturing techniques, and smarter cooling systems are all part of that evolution. Some next-generation engines are already testing ceramic matrix composites for higher heat tolerance. But for now, and for the foreseeable future, Inconel remains the go-to material that makes modern flight possible. So the next time you're flying through the sky at 500 miles per hour, take a moment to appreciate the engineering marvel under the wing. Jet engines are a blend of raw power and precise science, and at the heart of it all is Inconel, quietly withstanding heat, pressure, and time. Without it, we wouldn't be flying as fast, as far, or as safely as we do today. It's the invisible backbone of modern aviation, and proof that sometimes the toughest heroes are the ones you never see. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.